Conor McGregor at the time was this incredibly brash, shit-talking Irish guy from Dublin who has beaten all these people up, and he gets a shot at the title. And he gets a shot at the title against this guy, Jose Aldo. And Aldo is a fucking legend, and everyone respects Aldo, and everyone's terrified of Aldo. Mm -hmm. And all Conor does through the entire training camp and the entire all the press conferences is just talk mad shit about him. entire time months of press conferences talk sh takes his belt from him at a press conference and screams at him and is like inside this guy's head mm -hmm. so he's created the ultimate emotional pressure cooker mm -hmm. and aldo is overwhelmed by the moment mm -hmm. and in those extreme moments of conflict People either rise to the occasion or they're overwhelmed by the moment. The kind of person mm -hmm. who's like a Conor McGregor who can rise to the occasion is truly an extraordinary person. And mm -hmm. this it's best embodied by this one fight. So if you watch this one fight, it's, it's quick. This is Conor coming out, big smile, super loose, to the biggest fight by far of his career. And this is Jose Aldo, world champion, legend, but overwhelmed by the moment. And Connor's talking to him. He's talking to him. It's like, let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. And he's on his knees. He's super loose. He's at, And you see Aldo nervous, right? And this is a guy, Aldo's a destroyer. He's wiped out everybody. And the two of them are going at it. And Aldo just can't wait to hit him. So he makes a critical error. And he slept him. He slept him with one shot. And the big and look at it, he climbs on top and look what he does. Just climbs on top of the octagon, is like, look at that. Oh my god. And he's making the money thing, like he's like shuffling off money. And now he's become the richest MMA fighter of all time.